Sebastian, what up, my man? Do you think Mayock will still draft a receiver even if they sign Robbie Anderson? I do think so. I think Robbie Anderson is a good wide receiver, but the more and more I'm starting to think about it, I actually think the Jets try to either keep him or they tag him. Now, it's going to cost a lot, a lot of money. I personally wouldn't pay Robbie Anderson. I think if the Jets tag him, it's like $18 million. But Robbie Anderson is a player that I know the Raiders are interested in. I know it's a player that Mayock likes. But I would rather have Judy, CeeDee Lamb, and Ruggs over Robbie Anderson when you consider the amount of money and just overall upside that those other players have. We got a super chat rolling in. Another way to get on the show. Corrupt, one of my most loyal watchers. What up to you, man? Cheers to you. At Mitch, what up? Raider Nation, what up? FAB, F Tom Brady, DC4 MVP 2020. Josh Jacobs, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Oh, my Lord. Max Crosby, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Raiders! Raider Nation for life. Get a picture. Wow. Got your money's worth, Grub. That just goes to show how many videos he watches. Grub, if you want to come on the show, you hit me up. Like, actually stand next to me here on the Raiders board. That one earned it. So, who wants to be on the Raiders board? I guess I should read what's coming up next. Type Y for yes or type N for no. Who wants to be on the Raiders board? Y for yes or N for no. The way that you're going to get on the Raiders report is by subscribing, clicking that big red button, okay? If you're not already subscribed, if you're a new watcher, go to youtube.com slash Raiders report and subscribe. We'll put it in the comment section so you can just click on it. It's a lot easier, but I tell you guys, if you're a diehard Raider fan, if you want news, rumors, draft, free agency, I'm going to be doing videos all off season long. Heck, I gained, what, like 30,000 subscribers this past year? I'm hoping to get to 100K this year. I said once I get to 100K, I might be getting a Raiders tattoo. Just saying. Let's go to Jeff. What up, Jeff? Were you disappointed in Furl this season, or did he show enough promise to be optimistic about next season? So if you go back and you watch my draft grades, Jeff, I gave grades on how I thought all the players did. When the Raiders first drafted Furl, I gave it a D, and a lot of people got mad at me. Am I surprised on the season that Furl had? No. I actually anticipated this. I, I think Burrow's a good player, but the optimism, you should have some optimism. He, yes, he started slow. He also started slow because he's a little bit banged up. I think once he learned that the NFL is a little bit faster, once he learned his role a little bit better on the team, he did start to play better down the stretch. Cleveland Furl is a very good player, and he's going to be a solid player for the Raiders for a long time. I think it was a little bit of a stretch. Taking him at four. Let's go to Chris. Do you think Jacobs gets Offensive Rookie of the Year? If y'all think that Josh deserves Offensive Rookie of the Year, you know the drill. Actually, let's see how many people actually do know the drill. Let's see how many people are a loyal watcher. You'll know what to say. Anytime I talk about Josh Jacobs, I tell you guys to type something. So let's see it. Let's see how many people actually watch the show. In terms of that, I do think... Oh, spoiler. Got it. So, <laughs> type JJ. Um... I do think that Josh still deserves to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. I've seen Garner Minshew. To me, he doesn't get it. The only other player that I think you could argue is probably Kyler Murray. Murray played more than Josh. If Josh didn't get hurt in those last, what, two games, I think it's a lot different. For me, though, when you look at what, the, what Josh Jacobs did for this team, I actually think it was more of an impact than what Murray did for the Cardinals. So, yeah, I'll stick to Josh. Let's go to Ricardo E. What up, my man? Cut Tyro Williams and Jones, draft a wide receiver, what do you think, Mitch? So if you move on from Tyro Williams, it actually doesn't cost you anything in dead cap space. Um, the Raiders are going to have to pay Tyrell, I think it's $11 million this upcoming season. Uh, and Jones, I don't, which Jones? I'm trying to think. Zay Jones, I guess would be the only other Jones I could think of. I do think, yeah, it probably makes the most sense if you're saying draft a wide receiver. I don't think cutting Tyrell Williams is the answer. If you're trying to get more options around Derek, cutting Tyrell's not the answer. I mean, when he was fully healthy, he scored a touchdown in his first five games. And then he battled a lot of foot injuries. I'm going to hang on to Tyrell. Zay Jones, on the other hand, maybe it is time to move on from him. But I think it's a good idea. An even better idea is getting some free money at BetDSI. For those of you that want to bet on the NFL playoffs, sometimes they even do draft, bet, draft bets in the offseason. You're going to bet on the college football national championship game. You. Go to BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. BetDSI is the internet's number one sports book. And if y'all can find a better deal, try. You're just wasting your time. 
Let's go to James. What up, James? What's your thoughts on LaVisca Chenault Jr. and Colin Johnson? So, Tom, Colin Johnson, what are your thoughts on him? Okay. Tom says he thinks he'd be a good fit in Oakland. Big body guy. If you want somebody that can win the jump ball, Colin Johnson. Injury's a big problem. But with LaVisca, I talked about LaVisca actually on a show earlier. But YouTube, for some reason, was like, oh, we're going to delete the video. Whatever, YouTube. So, LaVisca is a player who I think has insane upside. And when you watch the way that he was used at Colorado, they use him in the run game. They use him in the pass game. Heck, even special teams. If he's fully healthy, another receiver where if you tell me he's going to be healthy his entire career... He's a player that actually might even jump T. Higgins for me. But if you're talking about wide receivers, here are Tom Downey's top five. If you want to know more about the NFL draft, I can say that I know some stuff, but Tom is the most intelligent guy that I know. Go hit him up at What Going Downey. Let's go to Caleb. What up, my man? Does Hunter Renfro have a thousand yard season this coming season? I'm going to say no. And I'm also going to say that the Raiders don't want Hunter Renfro to have a thousand yard season. Hunter Renfro is a great receiver. I think Hunter Renfro, if he could be around the 500, 600-yard mark like he was this past year, picking up clutch first downs, that's great. But Hunter Renfro is not a number one wide receiver on any NFL team. I'm sorry. But you also don't need to be a 1,000-yard receiver to be effective. I mean, go back and look at some of the Julian Edelman's best years with Tom Brady. F. Tom Brady. But some of those best years where Edelman was just picking up first downs. For me, if you go out and pay Tyrell Williams, he should have more receiving yards than Hunter Renfro. Darren Waller should have more receiving yards than Hunter Renfro. If you want to add another receiver in the draft, should have more receiving yards than Renfro. But the bottom line here is this. Our offense is going to be built on the run. Run the football. I think when it comes to Renfro, don't look at stats. If you want to look at a stat, look at first downs. Now today, if you're watching this live, it's my mother's birthday. If you want to guess how old she is, throw it in the comments section. I, uh, I saw some people guessing earlier. It's all good. So guess how old my mom is. But today is her birthday, so I would like everyone right now to wish my mom a happy birthday. I asked her if she wanted to come on the show, and she actually didn't even know that I did a show, so uh, that's good. But I want everyone right now to type HBD, wish my mother a happy birthday. Mom, I know you don't watch. It's probably four Chucky heads that you don't, but I love you very much. Happy birthday. Throw some HBDs. Let's go to England is my city. Shout out your city. Do you think Tom Brady would come to Vegas? Well, England is my city. Maybe you're coming on a little bit later. It's all good. It's all good. I would tell you to turn on your notifications so you know when I go live. So I talked about Tom Brady coming to the Raiders. I'll tell you how many Chucky heads that is. It's zero. Tuck rule, tuck that. But would you honestly want Tom Brady? I mean, if there has been one player that has devastated the Raiders over the last 20 years, I guess technically it's what, like 18? 19, I'm not trying to do math. It's Tom Brady. I mean, I literally do the show, Zero Chucky Heads, Tuck Rule, Tuck That. Do you really want Tom Brady in silver and black? I don't. I like watching the Raiders. I want to be able to root for the Raiders. I don't want to have to root for Tom Brady. Now, Tom did great with the Patriots. Let him stay there. If he wants to open up a rub and tug business with Kraft, great. Let him do it. I don't want him to be in silver and black. I don't want him in Vegas. And when you really think about Tom Brady, I think you're going to pay for the name value. Like, Tom Brady this year, you're, you know, there was a report out that he's probably going to get three years, $90 million, $30 million, all 90 guaranteed. You're paying for the name Tom Brady. You're not getting Tom Brady. Like, this past season, he definitely took a step back. And there are not enough offensive weapons right now on our team for us to get production out of Tom Brady. The only way that I say, yes, I want Tom Brady, is if he brings a Super Bowl. And guess what? You couldn't even do that with the Patriots. So, I don't want him. Let's go to John. What up, John? Can we sign Woodson for our DB coach? Charles Woodson, friend of the program. I would be full on board with Woodson being our DB coach. I just don't know if he wants to coach. Like, I mean, he's got a you know pretty good gig going on right now. He's trying to sell his wine. I'll say this. Charles. If you become our DB coach, I will drink Charles Woodson wine on every episode. Somebody send that to him. Okay? That one's for Chucky Heads. We got a super chat. I think it's R0B, or Rob. Would you accept Tom Brady if he publicly admitted that it was a fumble? He did admit it, though. If you watch, they did a documentary on Tom Brady with Charles Woodson, and he admits that it was a fumble. 
It was a fumble. Tuck rule, tuck that. So would I accept him? No. I don't want him. I do want this, though. I need a hat. Okay? I do need a hat for some of the days that I come into the office and I don't feel like doing my hair. And if anybody's the same as me, you need a new hat, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hat. This one is 40% off. But let's say you're not a hat guy. Maybe let's say you want a t-shirt. You want a quarter zip, a sweatshirt. You want the polo that I'm rocking. You go to chatsports.com slash Raiders sale. Fanatics has a whole bunch of amazing deals. Okay? So go take advantage of it. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders sale. They got gear up to 50% off. Just saying. Silver and black. Looks pretty good. Let's go to Zach. What up, Zach? Let's get a pick. When you're going to change your name to the Las Vegas Raiders report, and uh, CD probably going to go to the Cardinals because him and Kyler play together, what do you think? I actually would be surprised if CD Lamb gets taken. Or if CD Lamb does last till 12, I do think he actually goes a little bit earlier. I'm hoping he doesn't. In terms of uh, the Las Vegas Raiders report, how about this? For anybody that wants to know that question, DM me on Instagram at MitchellRen365. Let's go to Todd. Todd, Jay Gruden as OC. Would you rather have Greg Olson or Jay Gruden? I know I've flirted this rumor out there before. However, John, when he was asked about coaching changes, he said he didn't really anticipate any. Let's get rid of our DC before we get rid of our OC. Who's good with that? Let's go to Zach. What up, Zach? What do you think about Breeze to the Raiders? Wow, sure. I would love it. Not going to happen. <laughs> like, Teddy Bridgewater is going to be a free agent. I get it. The Saints are going to bring back Drew Brees. It's it's just like the Patriots are going to bring back Tom Brady. I, I don't see Sean Payton not wanting Drew Brees back. I love Drew Brees. And in fact, he's actually probably my favorite NFL player. That's not a Raider. I've respected what Drew Brees has done for that city and team. And if he wanted to be a Raider, sure, I'd actually be okay with that one. Let's go to Emmanuel. What up, my man? Defensive line and offensive line in first round. I mean, I think the most realistic defensive lineman that I would want in the first round is probably Derek Brown out of Auburn. I think our ends are okay. I mean, we got Max, we got Cleland. Um, I'm a little bit worried of what the Raiders are going to do with Mo Hurst. I saw an article out there that they might actually move on from Mo Hurst, which I wouldn't do. P.J. Hall really stepped up this past year. I also saw Jonathan Hankins. He also stepped up. I think when I look at the Raiders' needs, you can always, I guess, build in the trenches. But I don't really think defensive line's the way to go. And offensive line, I'm okay with what we have. I mean, we have Trent Brown, Richie Incognito. You got Rodney Hudson, Gabe Jackson, Colt Miller. It's not really a glaring need to address in the first round, in my opinion. Let's go to Eduardo. What up, my man? Where in Vegas will the draft be held in front of the Death Star? Well, how about this? If you are a big, big fan of NFL draft, I want you to do this. I want you to subscribe to YouTube.com slash Chatsports TV, okay? We're trying to go to the draft, Chatsports, and the more subscribers we get to that channel, the better the chances that's going to happen. Now, we're going to be live all three days, all seven rounds. Tom and I are literally live. It's like 30 hours straight. It's insane. And if you love the NFL Draft, Eduardo, which I think you do, make sure you subscribe to our main YouTube channel. It's YouTube.com slash Chatsports TV. So, Eduardo, anybody else out there, if I missed any of your questions, man, I'm sorry. There was a lot in there. There was a lot flowing in, and I appreciate everyone who's watching the show. But if I did miss your question, hit me up. Follow me on IG, at MitchellRens365. Slide in those DMs. I'll answer any of them. Now, for those of you that are watching this, this video is going to loop through. You're going to see some news. You're going to see some rumors, top draft picks. If you don't like anything, you can always yell at me. It's down below, at MitchellRens365. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.